All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another action-packed hour uh, here on TNT Monday Nitro. And I just got 25 generals when I took this province, as you saw in the last video. We have pretty much recreated Shu to where we have all the Shu generals. Now, keeping them all loyal is going to be a thing because, you know, obviously a lot of them aren't proud to have joined me. Uh, because they joined him by force, but then again, they were low loyal. They were, I mean, I don't know that, but I can assume that after being taken by Sao Sao, because they're all Shu generals, their loyalty is going to start off pretty damn low, and the loyalty will get higher now that uh, I have them in hand. So I don't really have a strategy yet, other than to say I'm going to break up 19, obviously, because I've got to split out a little bit. Yeah, Zhang, Zhang Lu, he loves Lu after 30. He's gonna take it because Lu Zhang isn't very passionate about guarding his provinces. It's a good word, huh? He's passionate about it. You know, it's like those uh, fake gurus who tell you how you can make all that money. Like, ah, I can spend all this time doing things I'm passionate about. That sounds so stupid. Anyway, um, so yeah, loyalty-wise, a lot of these guys start out pretty high. Uh, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's good by me. All right, so now we need to figure out who the hell we're gonna send down and who we're gonna keep here. So I wanna make this my bludgeon here, 19. I think with this many generals, we can have multiple bludgeons. Um, I think it'd be good if we keep Chuko Leon. For one, we need, okay, first off, let us appoint uh, Chuko Long as the advisor, Chuko, Leong is our advisor uh, because he will be a fine advisor. He's the best one in the game, so why not, right? All right, can we? Yep, there he is. All right, cool. And he's got advice already. Ah, Province Six has rebellious intent. That's good. Uh, we might think about doing something about that in a bit. But the first thing I need to do is establish. We got too much rice. Can we sell some rice? Okay, let's. Okay, we're absolutely not gonna move Huang Zhong, Zhong here. So let's go ahead and sell like 2,000. 2,000? Yeah, 2,000, let's say. Okay, good, now we got lots of money. Oh, so I wanna send somebody down. Okay, let's do a, sorry. This is taking me a minute to think about. Cause the guy who's in charge of my province, what the hell is wrong with you, Yang Cheng, and your damn loyalty? Why doesn't it stay high? Okay, who do we got who's highly uh, charming and also highly loyal? Chao Yun, okay. But I don't want to send Chao Yun down there. Guan Yu, okay, but I want to send him down there. Ma Liang, good stand to send him down there. Um, we got a few guys. So let's, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna send Chao Yun down. I'm gonna hire some troops, first of all. Wei Yan, you can do it because you're not going to move anywhere, although you do much of anything either. So let's go ahead and yeah, fourth. Okay, that's good. We're we'll just reset it all to zero. Find our war abilities here and give them a troop. So I'm going to have Chao Yan. He's going to take charge down south. As much as I hate to uh, kind of split him out there. I'll give Chuko Leon some troops too. Yeah, you can just see the ridiculous amount of troops we have here. So, Guan Xing, you didn't make the cut, I'm sorry. Uh, Chuko Leon, give him some troops too, because he's gonna be with us for quite a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and move a crap ton of generals down. Chao Yun. And you can have Guan Su. Oh, shoot, I made, I gave Wei Yan 100 troops. So let's change that real quick. I realize I'm gonna have to waste another turn. That's okay, though. Uh, who else am I gonna waste? Uh, somebody's not gonna move, probably, right? Aha, Chugo Leong, you're not gonna move, are you? Okay, wait a second. Yeah, this is why you don't wanna have this many people in a province. It becomes annoying. No, don't reset them to zero. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So give Guan Zing. There you go. Okay, excellent day. All right, get the hell out of here. A lot of people. So Chao Yun, you're in charge. 
You can have Guan Cheng, uh, Zhu Kang, and then everybody else. Ah, give him Guan eh, Pinger. Yeah, give him Pinger too. This Ping's got such good. Uh, okay, the rest of you. Pretty much everybody, except for a couple of people. Yeah, we'll leave a few of these guys behind. Let's take uh, Sao Chun too, because he's gonna have a little loyalty. All right, take a thousand gold, take a thousand rice, and take it to hell somewhere else. Okay. Chao Yun, you are in charge. First thing you gotta do is reward yourself, my friend. Okay, unfortunately I already rewarded somebody. Good. Everybody's looking more or less pretty good here. All right, let's buy some weapons. And then, you know, we're gonna go, we're gonna try to go to work as quick as we can here. Uh, because we've got, uh, we got shit to do. All kinds of stuff to do. Like I said, uh, we can have uh, two cudgels, two bludgeons at once. Uh, with this kind of manpower, uh, general power. We don't have the manpower, but we definitely have the general power uh, in development now to where we can make incursions. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. They're going to be incursions against uh, Sao Sao. Uh, we really can't hope to you know, challenge him too much because we don't have pe enough people to leave the slime trail. But when we do, that'll be great. But so I want to... Uh, distract Sao Sao in the north, basically keep him off balance, maybe clean up some of those uh, provinces around me. Like if I could get 28 knocked out, that would be good, and I could seize 28. So that'll be a good one. If I could get 10 knocked back, so, you know, so just keep him off balance to where he can't concentrate his power in one place because I'll, I'm attacking at his power. No. And then all the while, Province 21, you know, goes around and conquers the South. So I think that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, we'll seize the letter. I probably didn't have to seize the letter because I don't think that's our guy. But I, I can't tell who the hell our guys are anymore. Yeah, Lubu's straight. Lubu's dead by now, by the way. And they say he's never wrong. Okay. Um, okay, no merchants here. How can it be no merchants? This is the this is the prime province. So now we actually have a bit more of that power to uh, let's get John Fay up there. We've got a bit more of that power we want to be able to spy because we've got so many troops now. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a survey of some of these uh, districts. Let's look at uh, 28 here. Let's use one of these guys. We're not going to use for anything for a while. Okay. Kao Zhang, isn't he high? Is he like 92? Yeah, he does. Ah, this is like him and him. So these are two pretty tough guys right here. Um, but they're not armed yet because the computer takes his sweet ass time arming their people on this difficulty. So definitely, Sao Sao himself is in 17. Who's he got with him? Uh, not particularly good dudes. He's got his uh, whiny poetry boy, Kao Ji, with him, uh, which is of no use to him because he has no war ability whatsoever. Uh, this is a 20, look, it's strong at 20. Kao Jian. Sing Dao Rong, Xi Hao Mao, no good, no good. Yeah, I mean, he's got some guys here. So that's a pretty strong province. Uh, the key is we need to make, you know, incursions. Keep them off balance. We gotta keep them off balance. We can't allow them to kind of get their wings beneath them. So we'll go ahead and just kind of whatever for a bit here. Gotta get them trained up and then we might make a few attacks. All right, first reward yourself, Mr. Chow Yun. Thank you very much. And did you arm yourself yet? No, you didn't. That's okay. Or maybe you did. Let's look at the soldiers here. Ah! Can't go backwards, you can only go, which makes sense. Okay, yeah. Alright, 
that's fine and dandy. And uh, maybe a little training of the soldiers here. But we're gonna pretty much have to sit tight in this province uh, until such time as we collect taxes. I'd really like to extend uh, uh, 23, but we can't just yet. It's just not feasible at this point. Uh, because, you know, maybe 100 and 100 isn't gonna be able to do the trick for us. So we're just gonna have to kinda sit it out and wait and see what our enemies are gonna try. Uh, no, let's not get married. That's not a good idea. Sao Sao's busy. I'm telling you, that's one of the reasons we have to make sure um, that we're keeping him off balance. Because if not, he will become too strong uh, for us to do anything about. Especially after he was able to take out, you know, Lu Bei, who was the biggest obstacle in his way. Now, 20 can act as kind of a counter strike, so we've got to be careful about that. This province 20 has enough people to be able to lodge a very serious attack. Which I don't want to see happen. Uh, in case we, when we make our incursions. I bet he does have uh, rebellious intent. But for now, there's not a whole heck of a lot we can do about it. Um, Alright. I think I'm going to collect my taxes, and then I'm going to make my attack. I think that's the way to go. Bring one you up. Yeah, that's a problem, is if you have too many uh, generals like this, it's hard to keep the loyalty up, because you're always kind of juggling them. Um, maybe I'll make a special Christmas attack. We don't celebrate Christmas. At least not here at this time, they certainly did since uh, Jesus had only been dead for about 200 years, and certainly uh, Christianity, I'm pretty sure, had not spread into uh, China at this point. So I think I am going to lodge a little attack here. Maybe. Yeah, I think I am. I think we'll be able to get in and get out real quick here. Uh, if we send Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. And maybe one more just to make sure I got uh, numerical superiority here. No, I mean, I'll send Zheng Bao. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. I just kind of don't want to... Uh, I want to make sure I got the multiple attacks. They won't be able to defeat me because they're not well armed. But I want to try to... Sun Chuan isn't going to send him crap. I wouldn't send him anything either. Uh, this is kind of cool because we'll be able to get there early. Or early, I mean quickly. Uh, no, we don't want to challenge them to combat there because they got Zhu Shu around. And then I didn't catch how much rice they had in gold. Oh wow, I got a lot of gold here, which is great. Okay, so Zhu Shu, I'd really like to capture him. Now Zhu Shu, in the story, he was a bodyguard. He wasn't really a general as much as he was a bodyguard for uh, uh, Cao Cao. Which, uh, and he was very dangerous at that, uh, supposedly. He, when he was dying, he was still picking up, uh, people and, you know, basically whipping them around as weapons. It's kind of neat to think about, hitting people with other people, pretty much. Uh, so I'm gonna ambush this guy into the Stone Age here. It's my idea, anyway. Uh, hopefully he does just the stupidest. Yeah, yeah, he sure did. He, uh... Well, now it's too good. I'm just gonna triple team him. I mean, shit, he just... Um, I've got him right where I want him. So let's go ahead and do this. And if I could get Zhu Shu out of this, and I think Zhu Shu's pretty loyal, too. Oh, uh, I actually don't know that. Actually, I don't know that. Uh, I can't remember if Zhu Shu has turned on me before. Or if it's Zhu Huang, and if it had anything to do with, like, uh, what's his name? Attraction? Not attraction, what's the word for it? His tendency, or his, um, I can't think of the word right now. Holy crap, are you an idiot? Well, take that. Uh, you're now my prisoner. And we'll see if I can do anything with you. Um,. Uh, Ah, I can't 
camera, the, the predilection, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just not coming to me. I've been drinking a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I'm gonna drink a little bit more right now. Uh, but, uh, what was the word? I can't remember the word I was looking for. Sorry, I'm undoing my bottle. Got like one of these goofy metal bottles. Uh, that I think is supposed to be for like workout drinking, but it does a good job of keeping the cold drinks cold. So I only reuse it on my one day when I'm drinking. And I filled it with ice, uh, vodka. Well, mostly with water. Water, lemon, and a little, uh, some vodka. It's a, uh, it's a real one. I've had a couple of Bloody Marys too, uh, but I decided to unsalt it a little bit. Now we're just, uh, vodka and lemon. Yeah, uh, so anyway, what the hell are we doing now? Okay, so we're gonna be triple teaming this guy. We're gonna take, I wouldn't say real significant casualties, but we're definitely gonna take some casualties here from homeboy McGillicuddy, because he's a high war ability type uh, gentleman here, and he's in a castle. So arms or no arms, he's still gonna be a pain in the rear end to take out. Uh, that's okay though, because we've got the high war abilities here as well, though we don't have Zhang Fei because I wanted to keep one of my 99 boys there, just in case uh, Cao Cao decided to counterattack me. Okay, that's cool. And I got Zhushu, which is a real good deal, uh, because, you know, 98 war ability is a real problem. Uh, okay, thanks a lot. He's not good at much else. He's a little charming, but he ain't too bright. Good enough. All right, we got anybody to give the, unto the people here? Yeah, we got everybody to give unto the people. All right, yeah, let's give a little bit of rice. That will be great. Let's give like a hundo. That'll certainly put us at 100. All right, we should be able to get a good amount of money from that. Same thing here, let's make sure to reward some people, please. Uh, so the War Abilities, who's the highest, Guanjing. Come on, Guanjing, you should love us. Because uh, we got your daddy joining us, and he's not, he's, not, he's not mad about the whole deal. I mean, we didn't kill Lu Bei. Uh, the other jerk did. Let's buy weapons for him, even though I know we don't have any troops for him yet. We will shortly, uh, in just a minute here. So my, a uh, good thing would be if we could, uh, get the troops together. Jeez Louise, look at all these guys. Uh, get a few troops together so that we could hold a couple more provinces. Uh, we wouldn't need them to do a whole hell of a lot. I mean, we do need to get rid of, uh... We do need to get rid of, uh... Homeboy there, uh, what's his name, Province 22, that's fine, uh, but then I don't think it has to be that strong of a guard against uh, anything else, so you're going to try to hit us back out of 20, he probably could, but he would be unsuccessful, no, he's not, he's going to try to expand, mm. well that dilutes his power in Province 20, But he's able to take it. So you can just see how in Su uh, Susu, Sao Sao is the only one in this game, I believe, who is programmed to be this aggressive. Most of the other people in the game are not so aggressive. You don't see that a lot. But definitely these guys are. Let's go ahead and take a look at this letter. Chen Lan, who the hell are you? Oh, he's one of my guys. That's okay, even if you join him, I get him right back. I wouldn't even execute him because, heck, I would be uh, sad too because he's not getting enough attention, you know? Alright. So anyway, this, this just goes to show you why we need to make regular incursions at our enemies. Uh, uh, and I don't mean our enemies. What I really mean by that is... Oh, I didn't think... Oh yeah, there's John Fay. Okay. Okay, good. Um, yeah, we need to make regular attacks. Because if we do not, and we, uh, they will be able to consolidate way too much power. And that is not what we want to happen. Um, and we won't be able to stop it. So we've got to keep him off balance. We've got to rob him of his, his best generals, pretty much. Okay, Chao Tong. Okay. Little by little. Get our feet on this. Could 
could have hired more troops, but you know what? We got people coming back in. There's no merchants here. I remembered that right after I forgot. Cool. There's a little training here. Because we're, we're going to have to be ready for another, another strike soon. Hopefully we didn't injure anybody that we took. Uh, Zhu Shu, hopefully he didn't get injured. Because if he did get injured, we won't be able to move him for a couple of turns. Okay, we're going to hire up some more troops. Which is great. Two hundo. Maybe three hundo. Let's go for broke there. And get all our war abilities ready to go. Okay, yep. And we could definitely hold some more territory with this kind of a force after we get them trained up. Uh, there's no need that we, uh, we have to stay uh, just in this province. Ooh, I need to reward somebody. I, I can't buy weapons for Chow Yun yet. Which I'd really like to, but I, I can't afford to do it right now. Uh, we need to spread out, though, because I can't keep all these generals happy. Can't really keep any of them happy, to be honest with you. We need to uh, get them to a place where... Because I can only reward one general per turn. So that's a pretty good mechanic they made. Not that it's realistic, obviously, but that uh, you need to... Uh, just having one province is not good and this is why because you can't really uh, control very well all right so let's go ahead and move back to the capital here okay Zushu's ready to move which is great okay it'll take everything back with us and that'll be good and so yeah I'm not planning on permanently taking it hopefully Sun Chuan will walk in there which would be fine with me I mean it'll be fine if I walk in there again too I think my next incursion will be against 17 where Sao Sao is because, uh, well, no better way to keep him off balance than to move his damn capital around. Uh, of course, Province 10 is the actual capital of China at this point, Luoyang. Luoyang, Luoyang, I don't really know what to call it, how to say it right, I don't speak Chinese. Um, sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut off that part. We'll see you in the next part where we will think about our next move. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.